Hello everyone, welcome to the Seedlings Workshop. Here we have a new power supply we have just purchased and received from Amazon. This is the Longway 30 volts 10 amp power supply. It is a, an expensive switching power supply with variable output up to 30 volts and current of 10 amps. This model right here goes for $59.99 plus shipping plus import fees if you are outside of the US. I am in Colombia so I paid like a hundred bucks for it, which is still a nice price, especially considering that you'll pay shipping and import fees in any supply you may purchase from the internet and all that plus a markup if you purchase it locally. So this is a very lightweight power supply. It weighs just about 1.8 kilograms, roughly four pounds. This is of course because it's not a linear power supply, but a switching one. So there is not that old big transformer. We're going to do the unboxing, check out the content of the package and power it up. Let's go right into it. So this is the power supply with the nice protective foams in a plastic bag. This is the AC power cord, the banana alligator clevelets, multimeter probes, and a user manual. Let me get this better on frame. Now let's get the supply out of the plastic bag and connect the power cord to it. Before connecting your cord, check that the switch on the back is at the correct voltage rating for your country. For Colombia that's 110 volts, so just like that. And now connect the power cord. Oh, but first, check this out. Quality check passed. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> now we do connect the power cord to it. This is a nice quality cord, no complaints about it. And now let's connect this button. Let's power it up. And right there, our display gives us 32 volts. Let me check if that's the maximum it will go to. Yep, so let's dial it down to zero, to zero volts. Right. 
Here is the model number LWK3010D. I'm going to set it up at 5 volts and get the leads. They seem to be good quality leads, no complaints about them. As you can see, very nice quality. And here you have the connectors along with a ground connector for your anti-static bracelet. Let's power it up and I'll short the lids to set up the current limit. It seems to be at 3 amps right now. Let's see. Yep, 2.9 amps. Let's go all the way up to 10 amps. It shows 10.2. So for now, I'll believe that. I don't have how to uh, test that right now. And I'll set it up around 1 amp just for safety reasons. And of course, <laughs> you would want to read the manual first uh, before doing anything with your supply. This manual is not very much of my liking. It seems to be a bad translation from Chase, from Chinese, but hey, at least at, at least they give you a manual. But I mean, this type of supplies are straightforward to use. So whatever the manual uh, says, it's not something I'm necessarily looking for. Let me get my crusty meter. I have had this one for a long time and it's not the best, the best but it gets the job done. I'm going to check out the accuracy of the voltage displayed on this supply with the one I measure here. And it seems to be just right. I expect this to be accurate going down in voltage yeah so I'll crank it up and check a couple of higher voltages right there at 12 volts we read 11.9 on our meter that's like 0.8 percent error I'll slowly go to the top of the range so you can see the difference we get on the display and on the meter at several voltages Let me change the scale. So at the top of the range, it, the display tells us it's 32 volts and we get 31 5, so that's like 1.5% error, not too bad. And here it seems to be the worst case scenario, like 2% error between display and the meter. 
So it actually let me bring the scale down and no, it's just 0.2 volts. So like 1% error. And I mean, this meter is not the best, but that that's it. And now let's see how it ramps down and up when powered off and on. And the ramp up is quite fast, about one or two seconds. And the ramp down, not so fast, like five seconds, I'd say, to, to get to zero. Yeah, not that bad at all. And sorry about the awful cut, I forgot to show you the multimeter leads that come with the supply. They come in this plastic bag. And they seem like nice leads. Of course, not A1, but very nice. Check this, we have here our protective covers for the plugs. And let me show you what it says here. It says these are CAT3 rated, but I don't know. I don't think these are certified or anything, so I wouldn't be confident for using them at a thousand volts, but Hey, for bench applications, they seem to do all right. And that's it. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.